Hi, so good afternoon everyone, this is Bala. Uh, <coughs> in the last session, we have discussed about uh, how to control various uh, ports. Uh, nothing but we have used the LED to on and off at a particular sequence of time. Right? So today, what we are going to discuss about uh, is about a switch control LED. So, the process is same, but when you apply any condition, that is when you press the switch, the process should take this, else it should be in the normal condition. That was the thing which we are going to discuss in today's class. Okay. So, uh, before going to the session, uh, first of all, we have to discuss what are the things we needed. We need the same thing, we need LEDs and we need a switch for our project. So first of all, you have to write a program. For that, uh, again, you should open the pro and the steps which we, have, which we have followed in the previous sessions are same, except the programming part. Okay. So what I am going to do is I am going to create a new file that is nothing but switch LED one dot C. Then what you have to do is just write your program. So as of the thing the same that is nothing but you should uh, include your library files and you should uh, include the variables which are going to include include in your project that is nothing but delay which i have been using all through my project so again my program started with intime so first thing is i am going to declare my output and input ports as far our project is concerned we are uh, having two scenarios one is the LED output part and now another one scenario is my input part. Input part is nothing but my switch. So I have to declare these two variables. So first thing is IO direct is 0 that is my 0th port. What I am going to use is my last two ports that is nothing but port 0 0.0 to port 0 0.7. All the ports I am going to configure as my output port for my LED thing. Right. So FF again we have to know about our ports. So just to see, uh, as I already mentioned, as per our program, we are having 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, F and F. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, F and F. F in the sense, as I already said, the equivalent hexadecimal, its equivalent binary value is 115. That is 1, 1, 1, 1. That is nothing but 15. So again, 1, 1, 1, 1. So what I am going to do is, I am going to access my ports starting from 0, 0.0 to 0, 0.7 in my project. Okay. So the next one, this is so this is my output port. So, so my next one is my input port. That is nothing but for any directory that should be accessing your output from an output in, uh, from an, any other outer environment, we have to declare as a zero. Right. So again, I am using my 0th port and 16th pin that is 0 0.16 but I am using an exponential symbol so it becomes as 0. So 0 is nothing but an input function. So this pin will be acting as an output, sorry input pin. Okay. So all other directly uh, till now we have used only as an uh, output port. So we have mentioned as 1. So now we are going to use as an input port. So I have to mention it as an 0. So initially my pin has been uh, made to zero. So what is what next we have to do as per my program is while my controller is in true condition it gets executed. So my first line of information is if. So if loop condition is satisfied if it is in true condition only my condition gets executed else my value will be clear. So first I am going to check my two ports. One is nothing but my pin. As I already said my pin. Uh, thing is used to declare your uh, to get your output from the outer environment so my pin 0 that is nothing but my 16th port so my pin 0th port I am going to use in that 0th port 16th pin that is uh, we have to check the both the thing so my port 16th pin and this should be low if both are low this is an unconditioned both a and b should be true so this condition and this condition should be zero as i already mentioned here clear is clear of 0 0.16 so this pin will be already zero 
but my by making my pin switch as zero this condition gets true and it gets executed there is nothing but it makes my last post that is 0 0.0 to 0 0.7 as high and it waits for a particular time period and again it clears the setup value to reset okay so if this condition is not true that is my io pin value is not zero it is some other value that is high value then what it does is my all the condition will be executed as an low value so this is the programmatic concept which i have been used okay so save your program add your file to your source group that is nothing but switch led one dot c so switch led one dot c add, add your program okay your, your program gets added just run your program you should find zero errors and zero warnings so warning is not a problem at all so you should not be any error to one okay so my server my program is an error free circuit so i can debug and check my output okay so again you should go for debugging mode once you click your debugging mode just go to your peripherals so interface you go post zero as i already mentioned i am going to use my last two ports as my output pin so i have initialized this so as soon as i click that button you can check here right so all the pins have been activated so my 16th pin that is pin 16 is alone been activated to a high condition so as per our program is concerned the pin should be on low if it is on high then you won't get any output here this was the thing happening here so if my condition is false that is it is become zero that is my pin and an io pin on both are zero then what it does is it makes the condition executed for on and time for a particular time period i think you can see your output that is port 0 0.0 to 0 0.7 gets activated and deactivated okay if the same thing i have to control in an another way right just i am going to convert my output as f zero f zero that is consecutive values so again you should mention here f zero f zero you mention here f zero f zero and also you should change here f zero f zero so what it does is it will change the values that is f zero f zero okay so i will be getting this output here So all the condi all other condition will be on false. That is zero. This was the thing. That is nothing but my four, five, six, seven, thirteen, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen will be my output post. Right. So just to build your project. Now click your uh, debugging mode. So select your interface. Run your program. Yeah. So my sixteen to pin get activated. So just what we have to do is you make your pin as low see my 4 5 6 7 and uh, 15 14 13 12 all the pins get activated and deactivated okay so this was uh, the output which we have checked by using a simulator k default simulator if you want to check by using a controller just we have to go for OTS. I think uh, we have discussed this program in our last session. Okay, just uh, you need it. these are the LEDs which we have used for our previous program, flashing of LED, which I am going to use for my current program also. See, I have changed the value as uh, F0, F0, but my LEDs are connected from 0.0, .0 to port to 0.7 to port. So, just to recheck your program back again. Save will right okay now you need to connect and uh, switch to control this LED so for that what I'm, I have to do is I must add a SPDT single pole double through switch so SPDT just click on that click ok click here so there are two conditions uh, and as I have just said I am going to control my 16th pin just connect my port 0 0.16 with my one end of my switch okay so other end of my switch will be connected to one will be yeah, as i already said my pin will be initially in a high condition 
so what I have to do is I must I must connect and power to my port so another one thing is it should be grounded if it is slow these are the two things that you should connect just to save that load your program so bagger.hxr click ok then run your program see so initially your LEDs are in false condition if my condition of pin is being changed from high to low then you will be getting the output right here for a particular time it has been on and off and then on and off right so you can also have some consecutive leds for that just you can go to your program so i am going to control my last before port alone okay save your program execute that and you can check it out over here My last four salon get activated. That is 0, 1, 2, 3. As per my program, gets switched off. 0, 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, you will be getting the output. So, 4, 5, 6, 7 is glowing and off at a particular time. Really. Okay. So, again, if you go for a two condition, then my LED is stop switching. Right. So, thank you for watching this video. Kindly subscribe uh, our uh, channel for. Uh, future updates. So thank you so much.